Yes, we are eating that item that you guys voted on Instagram. I was going to do grilled salmon spring rolls, but you guys wanted oysters, so here we go. Who's excited? Raise your hand. <sighs> okay, I'm exhausted. Let's go ahead and devour. <laughs> excited you have no idea and um, man I'm actually quite tired and I'm super hungry uh, because I went grocery shopping this morning and then I went um, came home rushed hurry up cooked everything um, laid everything out make sure presentation is legit on point um, and now we're going to devour are you guys ready Hey, listen, um, my name is Leo. I'm super happy that you chose to visit my channel today. If you are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you do not miss any further videos. And by the way, you wanna make sure you watch until the very end because I have some news to share with you. They're kind of sad, but they're kind of happy. So it's both ends of the spectrum. But anyway, let's go ahead and dig in. <sighs> Okay, so you guys have no idea, but being like a food vlogger is a very difficult job. Yes, it's fun. We get to eat epic food, but the preparation, the filming, the eating, the cleaning up, the um, editing. Okay, can I say that one more time? Like editing? Dude, that is like hell, but... It is such a crucial part of being a vlogger. So anyway, I'm excited to continue to get better and hopefully in uh, maybe a few months or a year, I'm going to have my personal editor. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and dig in. Dude, aren't you excited or what? Like, this is the most beautiful presentation I have ever put together. Seriously, hands down. Like after, you know, seeing so many uh, videos of people putting such beautiful presentation up, I'm like, I have to up my game, okay? So thank you guys for all of you that have inspired me. Today, this is our lineup. You guys voted for the Vietnamese style grilled oysters, so here they are. But I also bought some shrimp. These are, I don't know, I think they're, these are called tiger shrimp. And um, this type of clams as well. These were like easier to cook and open. They automatically open once they're cooked, so it was a piece of cake. But these, oh my gosh. <laughs> it was like, it was difficult, okay? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you guys through. I did put the toppings on here yet because I'm go we're going to do it together as I eat. Uh, so, yes. Thank you, Lord, so much. So excited for this food. Let's go. Okay, so. We're going to do this first. So first guys, what you wanna do is you want to take scallions and you want to pan sear the scallions. So that basically means you just put a little bit of oil in the pan and then you cut up the scallions, dump it in there. Once the oil starts to get hot, you kind of stir it around for about three to five minutes and voila, you've got your pan seared scallions. And then next up, on the for the topping is a pre-mixed uh, fish sauce you cannot use just regular fish sauce and use it as a topping because it's very very salty so make sure you mix it up you can buy the pre-mixed ones I usually do that this time I didn't have it so I have to personally mix it myself but it's like it takes too long so just get the pre-mixed ones they're really good as well and if you go to any Asian grocery store you'll be able to find the pre-mixed ones um, if you need help just comment below and I'll hook you up. Okay, so the most important item to me, because I love peanuts. Who is a big fan of peanuts here? Um, crushed peanuts. Ooh. 
we're going to put on top yes <laughs> and now the moment of truth Oh my gosh, my fish sauce just went, just spilled on the table. Oh well. Oh my gosh. All right. So you guys know we all have that face that shows others that this is just epic food. Like, this is my face. It's a little bit dramatic, but I have to do this, okay? Oh my God. It is so good. Like, the oyster, guys, it is so fresh. Um, it's very tender. I didn't overcook it or anything like that. And the best thing, I literally feel like I'm tasting the ocean. Seriously. Wow. Okay. Let's sip this. Mmm. Mmm. Like, I haven't mixed the fish sauce in a while, so this is pretty good. Mmm. Vietnamese style oysters are the best. Who's had it? Comment below and let me know. Okay, so I feel like this shrimp is going to be very tender. The juice is going to be very, the meat is going to be very, very fresh. Mm. Mm. Wow. I literally taste the ocean, guys. Man. And by the way, it's such a dream come true for me to be able to live five minutes from the beach. I've always wanted to live in a big city, yet somewhere close to the beach and the mountain. And got to answer my prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, may I please present to you Mr. Tiger Shrimp. Mmm, <laughs> man. The shrimp. It's just so fresh and the meat is just so juicy. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay, all right, here's the other clam. For this one, guys, as soon as it started to open its mouth, I took it off um, because I didn't want to overcook this. It would be too chewy. But I actually want it to be like 50% cooked, but I think I waited too long. That's all right. Piece of chili on top. Yes. I think based on the last video, you guys can tell that I eat very, very spicy. Do you guys want me to do a challenge? Like extremely spicy noodles or a spicy some sort of spicy item if you do comment below and let me know all right i think it's my first time having this type of clam
Mmm. Man. I have to say, the seafood in Vietnam is just 100% on point. It is so cheap. It is so fresh. It's very um, easy to access. Wow, that clam was good. But um, yeah, like I had predicted, a little bit too cooked for me. I should have uh, taken this off so, sooner. Oh well, you learn. Okay, quick question. Who has had Vietnamese style grilled oysters before or clams or anything along this line? Oh man, so good. Okay, let's do one more. Then we're gonna go straight to the fruits. First bite is yours. Let's go. Ngon thiệt đó. Đúng là ngon giả ma luôn á. Lâu quá không làm món này á, làm lại cũng ngon chứ Alright guys, so I'm gonna do my best to speak more Vietnamese Hello, mình là Nhật Ly, rất là vui là các bạn đã đến với kênh của mình So, mình hứa là mình sẽ cố gắng nói tiếng Việt nhiều hơn chút xíu ở trong cái video, ok? Nhưng mà tại vì Nhật Ly lớn lên ở bên Mỹ á Cho nên cái sự mà có thể biểu đạt cảm giác của đồ ăn hay là sự phấn khởi hay gì đó Nó rất là khó À, cho nên Nhật Ly nói tiếng Anh dễ hơn, nói tiếng Anh chuẩn hơn So các bạn thông cảm thôi nhưng mà mai này sẽ có you know, phiên dịch ở dưới đó So anyway, cảm ơn các bạn đã ủng hộ cho kênh của Nhật Ly I mean don't get me wrong, like I'm very fluent in Vietnamese, you know um, And reading, writing, all that stuff But when it comes to like vlogging and being able to express you know, how I feel, my excitement, and the whole nine. Vietnamese just does not cut it for me. You know, I, I feel like I'm not expressing myself at all. I'm at a stuck, I'm at a loss for words. Like, I moved to America when I was in second grade, right? So you guys can imagine my vocabulary level is at second grade level. I mean, uh, uh, it's, I'm sure it's a little bit higher, but like, it's just very basic, you know? Like, I wouldn't be able to give a speech. I can't do a motivational talk using Vietnamese. No way, you wouldn't want to hear me. I would just sound so silly. Okay. All right, guys, on to the fruit. Yes. Who likes long ends? Okay, comment below, let me know what is your favorite fruit. All right. First bite, yours. I feel like I've been forgetting to give you guys the first bite because uh, I've just been too excited about the food, you know? Mmm. <laughs> okay. This longan is really good. It tastes exactly like the ones I had when I was growing up in Vietnam. I still remember the distinct taste. Did you know that not every longan tastes the same? Like canned longan, of course, is different. But even, you know, fresh longans, not every, um, I guess, not every kind tastes the same. The 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 best longans, longans guys, is the ones where the seeds are really small. They're called like pepper seed longans. <sighs> okay, I have one more dessert to show you guys. What do I want? Look, check this out. <laughs> this is banana. Um, okay, this is kechui. So it's like a banana tapioca dessert. Sweet soup. And this has always been one of my favorites. Uh, have you guys ever had Vietnamese sweet soup? What type have you had? What, which one is your favorite? I want to know. Oh my gosh. She literally just made this and just bagged them as I was approaching her shop. So, fire it up, man. Can we put this down? 
Man, I'm so excited. When you guys come to Vietnam, the tour that I'm gonna give you guys is gonna be so awesome. Like being a food tour guide, man, that excites me. You know, because I love being able to gather in groups, small or big groups, doesn't matter, but the smaller the group, you know, the more you can connect with them, right? The more personal you can get. And then just being able to show them awesome food, seeing their expressions of how they enjoy it. Man, that makes my day. So, you guys, once this COVID thing is over, I am expecting you guys to start booking your ticket. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, book your tickets as soon as possible and you have a chance. I'd love to dine with you and show you around. Okay, so the Kia is ready. Okay, thưa các bạn, thấy anh Kia nào nhất nè? Kia Thái. Kia xin xa bộ lộ. Kia gì nhất? Oh. And this one, the best way to eat it, guys, I forgot to tell you, is to have some crushed peanuts on top. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Dude, I'm showing you guys so many of the authentic Vietnamese dishes. It's amazing. <laughs> Here you go. Um. Wow. This is insanely good, guys. It's creamy. It's got a nice um, dose of coconut milk for sure. The tapioca seeds were nicely cooked, so it's soft enough and it mixes so well with the coconut milk. And on top of that, the crushed peanuts it just gives it so much texture. Wow, I am so impressed. So, you know, I normally eat this in Vietnam, I'm uh, sorry, in USA as well. The quality is just not the same. I'm sure here everything is fresh, you know, fresh bananas, fresh coconut, fresh everything. Mm. I wish you guys were here. Here, here's a bite. <laughs> Divine. I bought two bags, guys, because I knew one bag is just not going to be enough. All right, guys, so I'm going to have to wrap it up right here. I am such a happy camper right now. I'm so blessed to be in Vietnam. You have no idea. Oh, yeah, and the announcement. I forgot to tell you. So this is probably one of the last meals that I'm going to cook. I know, I know. Uh, it's because, you know, a lot of the restaurants have started to open up. And, you know, I feel like I'm a true vlogger. I like to be out and about and I like to meet people. I want to interact. I like to be active, you know. I've really enjoyed just sitting here and eating and just conversing with you guys. But I like that out and about uh, feeling a lot more. And I feel like that's more uh, of my strength and that's more of my niche. And that's what I'm more passionate about. So I hope you guys understand. Um, but yeah, I mean, when the opportunity presents itself, Definitely, I'll be here, sitting here and eating with you guys again. But I'll just be taking you guys on the road with me, okay? All right, guys, so thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and smash that like button for me. Um, that will help me a ton. And I'm so grateful for you guys. I'm so thankful for your support. It means a lot to me. And I'm always open for um, suggestions in terms of what I should eat. So definitely drop it in the comment below. But with that, guys, over and out from Vietnam. Bye. Bye. Uh, favorite uh, Asian, your favorite <laughs> exotic fruit. <laughs>